This video is sponsored by Ajar Productions. It's fairly basic when you're learning InDesign, but I still see a lot of InDesign users not really using the story editor because simply they do not know it's there. So the thing is that if I take a look at this very, very basic document, you can see that here in the left hand side, apparently I am dealing with overset text. Now, the way you deal with overset text is actually very simple. You were to just select that frame and then you just click and drag to see what's still hidden, right? But sometimes you don't have enough room, so you end up dragging a couple of times. Sometimes you might have just clicking here and then dragging there and saying, oh yeah, that's right. Then you have to delete it again. And this is not how you really want to work. So what you do instead is you just select the frame and then you go up to the edit menu and then you choose edit in story editor. Now the story editor is the closest that you'll get to having X-ray vision in Adobe InDesign. And if you take a look at the edit menu, the shortcut to the story editor is actually option or, or I'm sorry, it's command Y, which is like control Y on Windows. It's the same shortcut that we use in Illustrator to go to outline mode, which is actually very similar. It's, it's a bit like X-ray vision in Illustrator. So basically, if you want X-ray vision, just press command Y or control Y. Now, what can we do here in the story editor? What is the story editor have to offer. Well, the thing is that the story editor is always going to show the entire text flow of the entire text story. So this means that even if this frame was linked across multiple frames, across multiple pages, I would always see the entire story. For example, if I go back to that very first document I had here with the, with the long document, the long pages here, if I were to just select any of these frames, in the middle of this flow and then press command Y or control Y on Windows, I would have access to the entire text flow, regardless of how many text frames it uses. Now, the cool thing is, is that you can actually use this as a proper text editor because you're no longer distracted from scrolling through pages. You're no longer distracted from the formatting because all the formatting is the same. If you take a look at this example here, clearly I'm using different styles, but in the eyes of the story editor, we are all equal. So here you can clearly see it's all like a typewriter effect. And you can also see what text is currently overset without having to mess around with these objects, because sometimes it does happen that the text frame is maybe grouped with another object. It's or it's a group in a group and good luck ungrouping everything just to see what is actually overset. Now, what is interesting is that you can actually work in this as well. So this means that if I were to uh, come in here and say this is interior um, number five, or yes, number five, it will actually just update a couple seconds later, the moment InDesign refreshes. Now, what you can do as well is just, you know, start adding returns and start typing, for example, they will just follow along. You can also see here in the sidebar which style is currently being applied to that text. And what you can do is you can even go ahead and just add a return. I'm going to select this text and see this cursor here. You can actually drag and drop text as well, which I think is kind of interesting depending on the situation that you're in. So with that, it's actually very easy to work with. Now, if you are dealing with longer text like I have here, and you don't want to just keep scrolling through this entire thing here all the time. What you can do is just select one frame, press command Y. And remember, this is actually just a regular window. So look what I can do. I'm going to close this for now. I'm just going to close this file as well. So now I only have this file open. Let's press command Y and I can actually go into the window menu, choose arrange, and I can actually choose two up vertical. And now if I maybe close this just a little bit, look, I have layout mode on the left and I have text mode on the right. So this again opens up the door for other ways of being very, very productive. Here you can see whatever it is that you're doing in the layout view, while here on the other side, you can actually follow along and just work in the text. So the text editor, it's there 
please use it. And you'll notice that the moment you see someone not using it, you're gonna go, why aren't you using a text editor? You just, you know, you're just losing so much time over this. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.